What's up guys, my name is Louis and today we're going to be talking about how to control your LifeX lights with your stream deck. And don't forget guys, I stream every Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday at Rich Witcher TV for us, Louis Hitchcock, the links in the description. I use LifeX lights to light my face and my room. I have one light on top of each of my monitors, one of them on my bed and one in my DIY softbox. By the way guys, I'm working on that video right now so make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell icon so you get notified when that goes live. Now the stream deck is an extremely powerful piece of tech. It allows me to control everything in my stream. However, while I was setting it up, I realised that there wasn't native support for LifeX integration. However, there is integration for IFTTT or if this then that, and that's what we're going to be using today to control our LifeX lights. So let's just jump over to the computer and we'll get right on it. Okay, so the first step is we want to go over to IFTTT.com. If you haven't already created an account, do so. And then you want to click on the icon up at the top and you want to click create. When that loads, we want to do if this then that, we're going to create the this portion of that. So we're going to click on the plus, we're going to type in webhook, or just web and then it should, it should come up. We're going to click request a web uh, request, a receiver re web request. We're going to give it a name, I'm going to call it uh, LifeX life uh, Softbox. Remember this name because it's very important. I'm actually going to copy mine so I, just, I don't have to type it in later. Cr click create trigger. And the, that portion of this, the, if this, then that, when it selects uh, uh, LifeX, as these are the bulbs that we're controlling, but it should be the same for any other smart products that you have. Uh, I'm going to do toggle uh, lights on and off. And um, it's going to select the light that I want. So I want softbox. Uh, advanced options is if you're trying to do more complex stuff, but we're not, so we can just leave that for the time being. We're going to create action. Wait for that to load. It might take a while, depending on your internet speed. Okay, now, now that that's loaded, we want to click finish, but first I want to turn off notifications when applet runs. Okay, so now we've created the applet. Now we want to go up to the search bar, we tap in uh, web hook again. And we want to click services and web hook again. And then we want to go over to documentation. This part's really important to make sure your, your thing works properly. So I'm going to copy, copy this link I'm going to open up a notepad. I'm going to paste it into the notepad, and then where the double uh, double slashes are, I'm going to type in the name of the uh, applet. So I called it LifeX Softbox. So it's very important you get capitalization right, so that is uh, otherwise it won't work. Copy that, and then we're going to go over to the Stream Deck software. We're going to click. Uh, uh, add a, a website and click that. Uh, I don't want to give it a name just yet. And then the URL I want to type, uh, I want to give in the URL that we just changed. Uh, and then that should do it. If I now press this button, this light, this light here should turn off. Fingers crossed. And there we go. One thing you might want to do is I'm going to go into the uh, Stream Deck app and I'm going to select uh, access and background. That way this website doesn't open every time you press the button. So if I press this now, the light turns on. And that is how you control your LifeX lights with uh, your Stream Deck. Thank you very much for watching guys. My name has been Louis. I stream every Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday over at Twitch.tv forward slash Louis Hitchcock. So if you have any questions, just come over. In the meantime guys, I will see you next time. Oh, okay, it's nice.